When I look for a microbrand watch, I'm primarily interested in the design language. Microbrands are positioned to push watch design into new directions, and those that are successful take full advantage of that. There's definitely a sizable market that wants something refreshing when it comes to timepieces. In this video, we're taking a look at the classic UC1 model from Italian microbrand Unimatic. I guess microbrands that use time-tested design language for their watches are okay, as people can get classic styles for cheaper prices. But for me, the reason I look to microbrands is for creativity. I want to see something different that you can't really get from the more historic brands. There are plenty of classic watch styles from the Submariner, the Seamaster, Speedy, Aquaterra, and so on. Brands like Ferrer, Baltic, Formex, and other microbrands who hit you with bold colors, unique shapes, and other distinctive designs is exactly what I'm looking for in a microbrand. Today we are looking at an offering from a brand that definitely has its own unique design language that is consistent across its various references. When you see a Unimatic, you know what it is. Unimatic is an Italian microbrand founded in 2015 by two people in Milan, Italy, who met while studying industrial design at the Polytechnic University of Milan, the largest technical university in Italy. The industrial vibe definitely comes through on these Unimatic watches. The brand has a few different collections, the classic collection, special editions, and some other one-off references. The classic collection houses the brand's base models that generally don't change, whereas models get added and removed from the special editions line. Today we're going to explore the UC1 reference. The dimensions on this 316 stainless steel case are 40 millimeters in diameter, with 41.5 millimeters counting the bezel. The technical lug to lug is about 49 millimeters, and the case is about 13.6 millimeters in height. I'll discuss later in the video the effective dimensions when paired with the included NATO strap. There is a black aluminum unidirectional 120 click bezel, which is putatively for divers, although its utility is pretty limited given the lack of a minute track. The coin edge grip on the outside is really effective and the click on the bezel is unlike anything I've ever heard, and it's really pleasing. There's a signed, thick 8mm screw down crown at the 3 o'clock, and the watch has a water resistance of 300 meters. The dial is protected by a dome sapphire crystal and has anti-reflective coating on the inner side. The case is completely brushed with no real polished sections consistent with its pure tool aesthetic. The back of the case is screwed down and solid. The dial on this watch is matte black with the minute track encircling the outside of the dial. There are circular painted hour markers with horizontal sticks at the 3, 6, and 9 and a large triangle at the 12. The loom is Super Luminova C3 Pale Green and it's ridiculously bright. The movement on this piece is the automatic caliber Seiko NH35A, which beats at 21,600 beats per hour and has seconds hacking and bi-directional winding. It has an accuracy of about minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day and comes with 41 hours of power reserve. The watch comes with a black heavy duty 22 mm non-tapering nylon style strap with a signed tang style clasp. The strap has a ridiculous 13 tang holes so sizing this shouldn't be an issue. This is a double pass through NATO that raises the height of the case an additional 2 mm. But there is also a thick cloth name and date tag between the two levels of the strap, so the effective thickness comes to about 17 millimeters. The thickness of the strap doesn't only increase the height of the case, the strap plus the tag also increases the lug to lug pretty significantly to about 56 millimeters. And also due to the length of the strap, tucking in the excess also increases the visual size of this piece on your wrist. The watch box that carries this UC1 is basically a black hard plastic pelican case. It is super tough and heavily padded on the inside. Not something I would envision being used a ton, but it's pretty cool to have and really drives home the industrial tool nature of the design. I really like the minimalistic and industrial style of the case and the dial on this watch, completely brushed with a matte black dial and hands. I love the bezel action and the large crown at three o'clock. It just feels like a watch that can and should be used even in rough situations. I'm not a huge fan of the double pass through NATO strap, particularly where the case is already over 13 and a half millimeters, as it becomes pretty thick and also adds significantly to the lug to lug. So it ends up being a pretty big watch on wrist. I have a rubber strap coming in soon that should help to cut these dimensions down significantly, and we'll do an update video when I get that in. And we'll also let you know if I think this is a keeper or not. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and comment if you enjoyed and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.